Hello everyone. So we're all joining the Mermaid Madness, as I as am I. Um, quite like it. It gives me a decent challenge. So first of all, I started with basic mermaids, the the standard, uh, a pretty girl, and the prettier the better. And then after a while, I thought, you know. Everyone is drawing these. There certainly must be more creative versions of mermaids. So yesterday I made a, I think it's called a pork, the thing from, from Star Wars, a uh, mermaid, which was of course because it was a Star Wars theme. Um, and today I thought I'll draw something completely different. <laughs> so that's why I have the book closed because I have uh, a decent amount of the sketch already done. I still have to do the details and at some point I might even make it an oil painting or something like that. But anyway, so here we go. This is my take on a, a mermaid. There you go. So <laughs> this is not what you would call the standard. Um, I thought it was a, an interesting idea. I'm not sure about the capabilities to swim. Certainly, it, uh, <laughs> the one that meets this one would certainly be able to swim. That, that's a start. So, I'm using this one. Um, it doesn't really say a lot about it there. Is it zooming? Yes. Pental orange, if I pronounce it correct. Uh, as you hear, my English is not my, my main language. No, this is the, the pencil I use. It's just a mechanical pencil. Quite like it. If I'm not using that one, I'm usually using this one. So these are on, on the budget front. Uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. On the budget front, these aren't too bad. Um, usually they cost about, well, three pounds, euros, or in, in which zone you're living depends, depending. Uh, but they only cost a few quid each. So that's uh, that's very affordable gear. Now for these ones I have of course uh, had to buy extra LEDs. Let's see if I can find them. The cats kept stealing them. I don't know what they saw in them. But they certainly thought they were amazing. So I bought these. Now these ones are in B, you have HB and, and other ones as well of course, so depending on, on the B or HB it's darker or lighter. Now I chose for a B because I like that the, the mechanical pencil is a lot darker than the other one I use for sketching. Um, and I, I believe it's 12 in there, which they are re really really thin, I mean insanely thin. And I think I paid... Two and a half pounds for it, I think. Something like that. So it's uh, maybe, yeah, something around that. They were cheaper than the pencil, although the pencil wasn't expensive, so it, uh, it gets you a long way. Now, this pencil is a bit weird though. I will show you why. So let's detract it. Oh, let's see. Oh, stop wobbling. Thank you. There you go. See, that's the point of it, yes? So now I'm going to press a button. See what happens. So first the metal piece comes out and then the lead comes out. Now the first time whenever this pencil arrived, I thought it was faulty. Because the lead was not in it yet. Well, the lead was in the middle, but it, it, it wasn't pushing forward yet. And, and the, that makes the tip just move freely. So you move it in one direction or you, you tilt it a bit in your head and the, the, the tip went in and out and then I'm like, huh? It seems to be a mechanical issue here, but let's try it anyway. And once the lead goes in, it's stable as can be. Uh, and then, it, yeah, it, it, it's a bit, you have to get used to it a little bit that that point comes out. But I didn't find it too hard. But I, I do know that some people don't um, necessarily like it, that that tip comes out. So, yeah, it's a, for me it's a good tool to work with. Um, let's draw a little bit more here. 
keep chatting and chatting. And what was I exactly doing here? Apparently I have confused myself with my drawing. Now isn't that interesting? Um, you know what, so I'm going to change it a bit. To this. I want, uh, these are supposed to be bones, and I, I want the tips to stick out a little bit more compared to, to the rest. And I want it a bit rigid here, not too smooth. There's a bit of water damage. Now that means that that tip is not needed anymore, I suppose. So we'll Move it like that. Correct it. Yay. So this makes a, a lot of difference. Um the first sketch was done with this one, but well, this one is just um, the holder. So what it is, is a, um, a holder, which if you press the button on the back, let's see if I'm strong enough. See? It opens that, that, that metal piece up. And you can just slide your graphite around. Now this is very thick because if you compare it with the other one look that's a world of difference. It's great whenever you want to sketch something in advance which of which you don't want to plot out the details too much yet but you want the, the general shape to be correct. That's what I did here because well, that one of course that part is, is already um, sketched out with a lot more detail. But you don't see that uh, that same amount of detail over here or over here yet anyway. I will add it whenever I'm, I'm sketching with this one. Um, there's only one thing with this pencil though. Because the lead is so thin, you have to... Uh, you go through it rather quickly. The, the 0 0.3 one is not too bad, but the 0 0.2 it, it just eats graphite. It's like a graphite monster. So I had these things here, but I'm not sure if I like them enough. Mm, yeah, I suppose I do. Okay, let's see. But I don't confuse myself too much here. I like that effect. Add some added um, contrast after. Certainly needs to be a lot darker. Oh. Can I turn the light up? Do some. See, look at the difference in color. Currently, I'm not too sure if there is H, B or B in this one. Whenever I bought it, it came with the standard one, so it could be that if I put the other LED in it, it's going to be darker. Because usually the standard ones they provide are H, B. But they were more expensive and I like the darker ones more, so I went for B instead. Why not? So people have been um, asking me oh, why don't I do videos? And I thought, but there's not really anything interesting to see now, is there? Yeah, they said that it is interesting for someone that doesn't do this every day or, or people that, that want to learn something. Something that is very um, normal and, and straightforward for me might not necessarily be 
for someone else. And for some people, it's it's just soothing to to watch some someone else draw. And for me, that, that is as well. I I watch videos of other people as well, and sometimes it's it's just watching them draw, and it's in a way a bit mesmerizing. So that's why I thought, you know, maybe these people are right. Maybe I should share a bit more. And I started off with some videos without sound. Well, you had you had the music in the background, but um, there was not no talking for me. But then it's it's not as personal, I suppose, and and you can't really explain what you are doing, why you choose certain materials, and then you can't hear my funny accent, of course. So I'm currently living in Northern Ireland, and that's why I have this, this uh, interesting accent. I know I have one. I don't do it on purpose. It just happens. I've been living here for about three years now and prior to that I didn't really speak English. I did game and I did talk in English, well chat in English. It was not really talking, it was just text. So I know the English language, well to, to a decent degree. Uh, there are a lot of words I still don't know, but there are also a lot of words I do know, luckily. It's quite helpful whenever you're living here, believe me. Um, hmm, let's put in a few of these things. I got distracted again. But uh, yeah, about three years ago I moved here and well, since people over here don't speak the language I used to speak, well, I still speak it, just not to them. Oops, that goes my point. Since they don't understand it, I had to talk and speak English. And that's why you get this very interesting accent. Now, I am so, so happy that I don't have to listen to myself. I can torture everyone with it. As long as I don't have to listen to my own recordings, I'm so happy. Because although people generally tell me that they love my accent, I'm like, no. <laughs> Not really. comes with the package. Mm -hmm. If you people want more videos like that, this, please let me know because not well, right now I'm, I'm just trying. Maybe you think I'm chit-chatting way too much and that I should just shut up. It's possible. Why not? And then it would be practical if you could just share that. Maybe you think, oh, well, there are certain questions I had. And there was nothing of that sort mentioned. I'm always happy to answer them as well. As far as I can. I'm, I'm not all-knowing. I certainly know a fair bit about uh, art. Well, maybe it's not a question you have about art. And I'm very willing to answer them as well, as long as it is um, an acceptable, uh, acceptable question. There are certain things that, well, I would not share with the with the public. I'm quickly grabbing another pencil here. Um, so I want to try something. So just a normal one, no mechanical one. I just want some, 
some shade here and with a mechanical one it's going to take me ages and this one is darker too not that you would say it um, it is darker when I push it a bit harder I'm so happy with the peace and quiet usually the cats are bugging me although I love my cats don't get me wrong I love them sometimes it's nice to just have them not bug you non stop just a minute to myself all right now I've opened the back door they're in the garden they're doing god knows what but they're happy I see one a bit further away she seems to be chasing a fly makes me happy Less, less of them buggers around, we always like that. Um, now what did I do with this? Let's draw a little part of this. I don't think that I will do the the whole drawing finished to end this is to give you an idea and if you like to see more of it then certainly let me know and then i might uh, make longer recordings but i do um, instagram lives as well facebook lives so I just try to split it equally among all of them it's a bit of everything It's a bit tricky drawing with the camera in front of my face. Makes it a bit of a challenge because usually I have the paper closer to to me. And boom that sticks out well. There we go. Becomes especially interesting whenever the detail is added. Here it's still main shapes, which is less interesting to me. Maybe it is interesting to you, but not necessarily to me. <laughs> I think this might be the boring part. So that's the Durban pencil again. Shaking a bit. Tip the suffering. It's making a nice dark edge here. Now I'm going to take another Derwent pencil, but this is the 4H version, which is a lot lighter. So I want a bit of a gradient. Now this is not how I would sketch whenever I was to make a graphite portrait or so. Whenever I do that, I, I do use these pencils, the, the Durbent ones. Um, but I use a lot more variants and I, I do... Um, um, I'm not sure how you call it. Uh, I'm going to give it my own name and maybe it's the right one with a bit of luck but I do some sort of a cross hatch so it's um it's it's putting lines in next to each other very quickly in in different directions 
It might be cross edge. But in this one I'm I'm cheating a little bit. But that's because this is just my sketchbook. It's it's not the finished drawing. Um if I was to make an oil painting or what, what a graphite pencil, big version, then certainly I, I would do it a bit different. So in the sketchbook you can afford to um, be a bit more freely. As you can see, I'm on purpose not using straight lines. Um, and that is because these things are somewhat like, it's not really, but they're somewhat like horns. So they're, they're like this texture. So you have all these ridges next to each other. So if you have a straight side, it doesn't really make sense because because with riches you would usually have something like um, uh, if you have them next to each other anyway you would ha usually have something like that now if you were to already have your line in there and then draw it like that and then say okay that's my riches it, it doesn't really look realistic so that's why I'm I'm using these these lines because it, it will be a lot easier and, and a lot more realistic whenever I'm putting these lines in um, will seem a lot more 3d I'm going to put in a few thin ridges, a few thick ones, I don't want them to be too alike I want it a bit more organic so I don't want it to repeat the same too much as I did it at the start here This is better. Just different, different thicknesses. So that gives it more of a um, 3D texture. No, let's. Do one and, and a tiny bit of shading so you can see what I'm after. might actually do that there as well afterwards um, to give it more detail again I tend to go forward and back in my drawing I don't generally stick to one place and just say okay now this is, is done and I keep going forward and back like a bit here a bit there I know I don't have ADHD yeah. Maybe when it comes to art, I do. <laughs> There's a very noisy fly flying around me. Yeah, there you get a bit of the idea. Um, I think it 
looks interesting. I tend to do too much detail for this sketch. I think you got the idea. So that's uh, part of the drawing. I will commence with another recording. Um, if you want to be, uh, if you want to see the rest of this drawing, or you want to follow it up, then you can find me on Instagram. Um, you can find me on Facebook, and soon on Patreon as well. I hope. Uh, the name I used in, on the other uh, social media are, are just the same as the one I use for my YouTube. So it should, should make it rather easy to find me back. Um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you like this uh, mermaid. <laughs> and uh, have a nice day. Bye.